Morning YouTube, it's me again. Right, you're gonna be a bit annoyed because I have started this job, but it is what it is. Um, I just thought about to get my phone out to film it. So today I have been sourcing and repairing a leak on a 320 diesel E90 BMW. Um, I thought this job was gonna be difficult. Locating the leak's been rather simple. It's got harder since then. So uh, we'll swing you lot round and then I'll show you what the score is, Georgie Doors. Okay, so all that white you can see in there, it's not the light, that's spray from where it's been chucking water out for God knows how long. Um, this car has many, many other problems. We'll get to them another day, but today it's a leak. And it seems to be coming from this pipe yeah, no, so it feels like it's plastic, connects to this rub rose via a clip. And two, two of these star bolts. Now one of them, nice and simple, came out easy. I don't know if you can see that. Piece of piss. This one, however, it's it's too close to the oil filter as in. Um, I have attempted to take this intake pipe off, but that's a lot harder than it looks. Um, when the, I think that is the wrong way to do it as well. So I'm trying to find other ways about doing it. Now, my number one idea is bastardizing this fin, you can see it there, with a file, so then I can actually get a socket and a ratchet on it, which is what I'm gonna do. Now, everyone's probably gonna slag me off and say, that's not the right thing to do. But right now I don't care because this is going to end up being hours and hours and hours in labour otherwise. And a customer can't afford that. So I'm going to go do it my way. So I'm going to get a flat file. Get in there, I'm going to file that down. So I'll get socket ratchet in. Whip that off. Then we're going to get a pick to pry off this uh, clip here. I believe a uh, pick should do it. Maybe need a screwdriver. And then we should be able to take that out of that and bolt my brother. Then go and find out whatever it's actually called. And then purchasing one. I'll hopefully be able to get it today for not a million pounds. Pretty nice as well. Shut up, John. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, um, I've uh, discovered that that intake chunky plastic thingy needs to come up. And it needs to come up to be able to release the thing from underneath. Uh, that pipe that's leaking um, and that's going to be a lot more work all the wiring loom needs to be removed by the looks of it across the top there so let's get there's two bolts that are really quite inaccessible all the plastic shroud that's at the back of the engine but underneath the windscreen that's going to have to be removed so I'm just going to have to get hold of Martin and I'm going to have to tell him what the score is Georgie does and see if he wants me to continue with this because it's going to snowball for him if you get what I'm saying so I'm just having five minutes waiting for him to ring back Okay, so this has escalated massively. The intake has to come off. No ifs, no ands or buts about it. And look at the fucking state of it. And the throttle body. So, it's a bit more work to be done here than we thought. There's also a break all around this pipe here, which is the intake pipe, which is after the mass sensor as well, which will be causing problems, leaning it out. So that needs looking at too. Um, and I reckon the engine mounts are knackered. Um, yeah, this one's going to be a right mission. But back to the job at hand. I've got what I can see is all these intake bolts off, but I cannot actually get the intake off. So there's got to be another one somewhere. So I'm in the process of pulling all this stuff back, stripping back wiring harness, throttle bodies, anything I can to get in easier to get where I'm at. It's pretty much simple stuff. You're just going to have to plod along as I am. Um, now, I did just speak to my mate Fat Rick, who said something about swell flaps in this. So we need to have a check once we get that off. And if it's still got the swell flaps, then apparently we're going to do a swell flap delete before we put it back together, which is news on me. But there you go. Okay, so after going back and unplugging a whole shit ton of wiring, we've managed to get this loose now. There was an hidden bolt right at the back which we managed to find. Now everything's all nice and loose. I just got 
some connections and stuff to do there. Let's see, a couple of vacuum hoses. Red one went to the right, black one went to the bottom, if you need to know. I've sort of said this so then I can remember if I need to know. Um, but I think we should lift out. I think. We shall see. You should know that that was not fun. But was very needed. I spy with my little eye. Iron swirl flap in the engine. That could have been very, 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 very bad. Okay, so now I figured out what parts I need. A swirl flap uh, delete kit and the cylinder head coolant elbow. That's what that thing is actually called. I've ordered them both off at eBay. I've got some muck on my nose. Never mind. Uh, ordered them both off at eBay for him to save him a few quid. Uh, just been to the local hardware shop and I've gone and got him some... Uh, carbon injection cleaner blah 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 and i'm going to go and clean out all the intake and all the intake runners going into the cylinders um yeah because that's just that that ain't gonna work i neglected to mention that he also needed a pipe um for his air box so i'll have to mention that or figure out some sort of fix for him to do for temporary for now but yeah there's a lot more problems on this car than he anticipates but never mind that's what you get when you buy cheap cars uh, if you like for like myself and you know what you're doing you can buy good cars for cheap if you don't know what you're doing they're usually cheap cars for a reason and normally ends up costing you money and bites you in the ass so it's what it is at the end of the day but it could have been a lot worse too so yeah parts uh, so far only cost him about 30 40 pound including the cleaner for the um intake and that so that's well pretty good really you can't really grumble at that can you so i'm gonna go and um, have a rest for a bit i'm sat in the living room now in a minute then i'm gonna go out and clean the intake i might uh get you on the video for that as well gotta answer the phone now i'll be back soon That is just a start. This wall flap was about to shit itself. This wall flap was about to shit itself. And they're obviously the two I found in the engine. I have scraped a load of crap out of this already, but... Oh my fucking God. And that is all the fault of the EGR valve. Now, we're doing the swirl flap delete apparently. I've never done one of them, but it looks like they just come off here and, and I'm hoping there's some screw holes underneath for the metal plate things that I've just ordered that bolt in. I don't actually know. So, that's probably a good place to start. Right, I'm going to pull that off. Okay, so I pulled this swirl flat unit thingy off. And the pictures on the internet show you plugging these holes up and bloody screwing them up. I can't see anywhere what's going to screw up on there. But if you have a look, how thick all this is around here. This couldn't be left. This is robbing lots of horsepower and MPGs. So, if you own one of these, might be worth looking at getting yours cleaned. Um, maybe one of them carbon cleaners or something, I don't know. That's it so far. And as you can see, still lights left. Now that's made a massive difference, but it is still disgusting inside. We are two tins down on a cleaner. I've made this much mess. Yeah. So I might have to uh, clean up and, uh, well, show Martin and see where we go from there. But uh, yeah, this has turned into quite a mess okay so i'm gonna call it a day with that one uh wait for parts to turn up to fix it and need to get more shit to keep on cleaning it plus all the intake runners in the uh and in, in the cylinder head there are full of shit as well just as bad as that was so that all needs sorting out um i don't know how this swirl flap delete bollocks is going to go because um i've never done one before and looking at the kit it don't look like it's going to do what it says on the tin um so we're just going to have to see what happens when that comes. Uh, other than that, it's waiting game now. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and all that bollocks. If not, 
Who cares? Um, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.